Hey, this is Scott, and today I want to talk about the SolidPod SSD adapter for the Canon C200. So I think that most of the people who are watching this are already going to know what the SolidPod is and how it works. But basically, it's just an adapter that fools your camera into thinking it's recording to a CFast card when actually it's letting you record to a larger and more affordable SSD. Of course, the price of CFast cards is coming down, and I myself have a few from Angelbird that I've been using quite a lot, but if you're recording a lot of raw video on the C200, the SolidPod and SSDs is still going to be much cheaper. Again, I know a lot of the people watching this video are already going to know a lot about the SolidPod itself, so I just want to talk about some of the things that I've seen a lot of people asking about it, and also some of the things that I thought when I got my hands on it for the first time, even though I had researched it a lot before I got it. Yes, I know there is someone who makes a cheaper version of the SolidPod with a flatter cable, and I'm not reviewing this in competition with that at all. People who prefer one or the other probably have their own reasons for preferring one or the other, and those are all very legitimate reasons. But for the people who are interested in the SolidPod specifically, I wanted to make this video to talk about those things that maybe hopefully will answer some of your questions. For me, I love how solid this is, <laughs> no pun intended. It just feels extremely solid and rugged in your hands. It's all solid metal except for the card, of course, and the cable is built into the box, so you don't have to worry about losing that connection or breaking that connection or anything like that, and just overall, it feels really, really rugged and high quality. Also, I personally didn't feel like it was too large or obtrusive at all, to be honest with you. Of course, there are a number of different ways that you can mount this, but I personally have it on a 15 millimeter rod that slips right into my Zacuto top handle and it does not get in the way at all. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space and you know with everything else, the microphone, the monitor, the handle itself, it really doesn't even stand out visually at all. But again, there's a number of different ways that you can mount this. You can find out what works for you, but there's a built-in quarter 20 in the body of the solid pod, which just makes it really, really easy to mount it in a number of different ways. And there are also a number of different little accessories to mount it that are already included in the box for you. No, I don't think this is something you should use all the time, and it's not something I would recommend in place of a CFast card. You still should have some CFast cards because there are plenty of situations that for you know a number of reasons will call for an internal CFast card that's simpler and doesn't require any extra cables or anything like that. But in all other situations, this is a huge help to be able to record longer without having to break the bank, and I've really loved using it. The cable is not flat, it is round, and I suppose it's as soft and as small as they could make it while maintaining that durability because the cable on here is really rugged and I don't think you're going to have to worry about it wearing out or anything like that over time. Of course the thing that most people are going to be worried about though is not the cable, it's the card door because yes, you are kind of shoving this cable through that card door and pushing it shut on top of it. And to be honest, I was a little bit concerned at first as well, but I figured, hey, let's put this to the test. And I put the cable in absolutely the worst position where it puts the most stress on the door, on the latch. And I just left it like that for a week. And during that week, I tried to be as rough with it as I could. I pushed on it, I pulled on it. And then at the end of the week, when I took it out, no damage whatsoever. No warping on the door, nothing weird. It was absolutely as good as new. So I was honestly surprised, but you really shouldn't have anything to worry about. Of course, when you're really using this, you probably shouldn't do that. You should put the cable a little bit higher up away from that latch, so that way it doesn't put as much pressure on it. And when you do that, it really works pretty smoothly, and there's really not any stress on that lock at all. It looks like there is, but there's really not. It closes down very easily. And I've been using it a lot, and I can say that after you know a couple of months of using this, there is no ill effect at all on that door. So unless you're extremely rough and you drop your camera or something like that, in which case I think you'll have more things to worry about than just that. This should cause no problems whatsoever and it's nothing to be concerned about. To get the data off of your SSD, you could just take the solid pod off of your camera and plug that CFast card right into your CFast card reader and it works just fine. But you could also get the solid pod SSD reader, which lets you just take the SSD out of the solid pod and put it into the reader, which is basically the same as the solid pod itself in terms of the build quality and shape and everything it just doesn't have that quarter 20 mount on the bottom and that works really great and that allows you to then swap out a couple of ssds if you have two or three of them and if you bring that card reader with you on set you can actually use that as kind of storage for one of your ssds if you're swapping a couple of them out which is really really useful just in and of itself and then you come home and plug in the usb and you're good to go Again, I know that this is also a little bit more expensive than the other option which I talked about earlier, but what you're getting here is an incredibly solid 
kind of complete, easy to mount, easy to use package with you know accessories, with a cable that is permanently connected to it, so you don't have to worry about that connection there. And just, you know, it looks nice. It looks polished, it looks finished, and it looks like it belongs in your camera. At the end of the day, yes, they do get the same job done. So whether or not those things matter to you is up to you. And I'm not arguing one way or the other. Every person has their own very legitimate reasons for preferring one or the other of these options. But I like having, you know, the attached cable, the polished, finished looking design, and a really solid rugged build. Once again, no competition here, but if you are thinking about getting the solid pod, I can tell you here that it is a solid choice this time, pun intended. If you want to see more details about this or what's included, what other accessories they have available, head over to store.n.ki and you can see all of that information here. But if you have any other questions or comments, let me know down below and I will do my best to get back to you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and as always, thank you for watching.